Hey everyone, welcome to Freedom Ranch Homestead. Today we're going to talk about the bear attack on our chicken tractor and we're also going to talk about why did that happen and also some of the things that we're doing to hopefully prevent that from happening again in the future. Last week when I was out of town, um, I got a call from Brooke that said we had been attacked by a bear. So the girls had come down earlier and told me that something had attacked the chicken tractor and um, they are right. That was a definite bear. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey guys. We think it got one of the chickens last night that was um, that ran off into the woods before we could get the door closed. Oh, look at that. Man, oh man. So Bri and I are gonna move the tractor up higher on the other side of the chicken coop. Although they like to hang out by the woods here. Hey, Mr. Wonky Beak. Hey. One of the things that I've always been accused of is overbuilding things, but uh, this time I think it actually worked out in our favor. Um, we built this out of two by fours and we put this uh, heavier mesh on it instead of just the chicken fence. And I think that actually kept the bear from getting to our chickens. Although it, it worked pretty hard to try to get in, it didn't. And so our chickens are still alive today. So thankfully we were able to prevent the uh, bear from being successful in its attack. Luckily it didn't get in, but it definitely ripped off all the siding. That vicious predator trying to eat our beloved chickens. You guys gotta get out of there. We're about to move you. We're just gonna drag it for the first time. Nice and easy. God. <laughs> if this wasn't in shambles before, it is now. <laughs> Poor thing. Thank God the chickens didn't get hurt. Okay, good. There are a couple of things that I think contributed to the bear attack. We had scratch feed in a bag that I would spread out for the chickens in the morning. And so I just wrapped it up and put it on top of the chicken tractor. Um, so I would have it easy to access the next morning. That actually, uh, the, the bag disappeared twice on me at night. <clears throat> that should have been my sign number one that something bigger than a raccoon is carrying off the, uh, the bag of uh, scratch feed. We decided that we wanted to put a, an electric fence around uh, the perimeter of the chicken tractor as one of the things that we're gonna do to keep the bear from uh, coming back into the chicken tractor. And we decided to move the chicken tractor near the hog pen so that we could have access to the solar charger and that way we could power the wires for the electric um, fence without having to buy another charger. At that point, um, it, it's you know probably 150 yards and we decided to, uh, to move the chickens and my uh, strategy was we would catch the chickens that were outside the chicken tractor after we moved the chicken tractor. I got outvoted on that by my family who uh, seemed to know more about chickens than I do. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna brag a little bit about this because <laughs> this turned into a nightmare. We caught the chickens and put them in the chicken tractor and then decided to move them 150 yards. That, uh, as you can probably see in the video, turned out to be a circus. <laughs> So we are on a mission to move the chicken tractor closer to the pig pen and put a electric wire around it and connect it in with the pig pen because we got to keep these suckers safe. So we got to herd them into the chicken tractor and then slowly bring it over to the pig pen. Herd them over, herd them on over. Capone, don't make it impossible for us. Hey rooster, aren't you a pretty rooster? Look at those beautiful feathers. I think you should go on a blind date. Oh, you think so, huh? Can she do it? <laughs> it's a little tricky trying to pick him up. Come on. <laughs> you just started trying, girl. Oh, you're so close, Finn. He's got to be a little bit quicker, huh? <laughs> Gabe got one. Whoop, whoop. Oh, there we go. What? Why are you here? Why? Why? <laughs> 
Much better. Oh. <laughs> oh, Gabe got one. They run away. <laughs> there you go. Hold it. Hold it into your body. Good job, Finn. Did you get one, babe? Oh, ah. Chicken. Okay, into the torn up chicken tractor. You guys are gonna get moved. So Chuck is putting them up on pieces of wood in hopes that it will glide smoother. Will the wood go along with it, babe? Got the wheels, no bolts. The next round of chickens will have wheels on this sucker. And we'll have to repair what the bear did. Slow, slow, slow. I think one is trapped. Yeah, one's trapped. Uh, oh, baby. We need to lift it up. Hold on. Hold on, baby. We're going to get you out. There we go. Uh, there we go. He's good. Okay, they're at the front. Nice and slow, Gabe. Good. Really? Be careful, Gabers. Are we good? Don't go too far forward. There you go. Slap. Okay, Finley, you come on out. If you don't like it, you come out. <laughs> okay, you ready? Come on, babies. We're just trying to keep you safe from the big old bear. from there to here and we have to make all the way over there this is chaos we should have done this a quarter go i am walking chuck and brie in they're going to try and keep this chicken scared forward are you guys ready this is just really not safe go brie's all like oh, we're going for a ride Redneck chicken tractor. So at the end, um, I think I'm vindicated, but um, let us know what you think. And we decided to stop here just because it was putting the chickens under too much stress. Yeah, and they're in including good, us. Good grass and. Um, weeds and stuff like that where they're at. So yeah, yeah, that'll be good, good for them to be. So, so even though um, it would be nice to be a little closer, but nobody's going to be walking we through this wire. We ended up uh, connecting the wire to the hog pen, just wrapped it around, tied it in tightly, and that energized the line. So now we have the uh, electric fence around the perimeter, as you can see, and our chickens are doing just great. Uh, we didn't lose any in this whole process. 7.1, so it's hot. It's pretty hot. Touch it, feel it. Shock it, baby. No, I'm not going to shock myself. <laughs> this is 7.1, so it's as hot as the wire here. So. Cool. Uh, it's not that's good. So you just tied a knot on it, and yeah, that's enough? Yeah. Wow. Let's just jump it off of that. So. Okay. Hey, piggies, you got some neighbors. 6.5. That should keep a bear away, huh? And now our chickens are, you know, safe and secure again. I think they're more secure than ever before. They get to ra range out into the grass, into the woods, and continue foraging on, on bugs and grass and insects. And now I think they're safe and uh, protected at night while they still get to range uh, out into the open during the day. 
So lessons learned, don't leave a large supply of food on top of your chicken tractor for animals, whether it's raccoons or bears or what have you. It is an attractant. I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. Um, we also learned that uh, it is time to get the wheels on this chicken tractor. That is a, uh, a big piece of, I have all the, the, the wheels. I just didn't have the right bolts to put the wheels on. So we will be doing that. These chickens only are, are gonna be harvested in another week. So we're probably gonna wait until the next batch of chickens, but we will get wheels on this thing. Um, the other thing I would say is, I'm not upset that I overbuilt this. Um, I, obviously, I think if we would have underbuilt it or built it sort of to the traditional standards, the bear would have uh, been able to successfully enter and probably would have killed all of our chickens. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video, learned a few things. The next video will be finishing chinking on our log home. We're almost done one last little bit to get the outside done. So that's gonna be awesome. So take care and we'll see you again soon. Capone is a happy puppy. So is Capella. Cooling off on a hot day.